again, so today I'm going to go over my arrangement of the song Mrs. Robinson by Simon and Garfunkel. I heard an instrumental arrangement by the guitarist Chet Atkins at some point. I don't remember when, but uh, I really liked it. You know, I like Simon and Garfunkel, but I really like what Chet Atkins did with the song. In any case, I'm going to play the first eight measures so you kind of get, get you in the, in the, into what I'm doing here. I'm gonna have the tablet sure uh, displayed up in the screen and also I'm gonna put a link for the tablet in a recording that I did a few months ago in which I uh, performed the song but I'm gonna teach the the verse and the chorus it's uh, and I'm gonna break it down a little bit so it starts with a with a passage in uh, in E7 with a with the bass in me, it goes like this. Okay, so the bass is mostly on the downbeat here. All those basses are on the downbeat. And that's syncopated there, the last on measure three, at the end of measure three, I syncopate the bass on the upbeat, okay? And then the next four bars are very similar, but they're in A, with an A bass. So I'm gonna repeat with the E. And then it goes to the part in A. And then a little arpeggio, and then a part in D7. Okay, so, so there you go. It's a part, and uh, the first three are seven chords. I got E7 here, and I'm going down the scale in thirds. Uh, and then the second phrase is in A, A7, going down the that scale in thirds, and then D, and then I'm playing a few chords there. I'm, I'm gonna repeat that part, and then I'll go to uh, to the next section. Okay, so we start in E7. I slide there. E, G, and then the E, the D. Okay, so in that that last part, I start in in the. I have a G and then a, a C with a G bass and then C, B, A minor and then this boom, boom, boom going back to E7 then the and here's to you and that's the, that's the chorus okay I'm gonna play the chorus I'm gonna put my glasses here real quick Okay, so we got here in D, and here's, then I'm playing octaves, G octave, A octave, and here's two, and then G, E minor, then a passing bass note, and then I play some anticipated basses here, C, D, A. I 
minor, I get C, B, A, G, A minor. Okay, that's, that's all I have written in the music. That's the verse and the chorus. So I'm gonna repeat the chorus here, it starts from a sharp. And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. Okay, so we got here. And then I'm playing octaves, and then I'm playing octaves. Then F sharp as a bass, and then C with the, and then with the B in the bass. A in the bass and then C in the bass. So here's the part. I like that. Uh, that's not quite like the recording, but I like the way the way I do that. And uh, with that, you know, I'll go over it in a minute. But in any way, the chorus is, you know, is just uh, E minor. E minor, I mean G, sorry, and then E minor, and then back to G, and then I got this descending bass line with the C chord, all the way from C, B, A, G, and then again in D. Melody with the A bass, it's all in the tablature, same lick, the ascending bass line, but instead of going to D, I go to A minor here. I'm going and then E7 here and then I play open sorry and then I hammer here and then repeats a song this is definitely not a beginner piece but it's not really difficult technically necessarily I'm going on I'm going down in thirds and the whole beginning all those descending lines you know that 
da 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 It's just going down in thirds with open strings and then I do a something similar in A mm. then something similar in D so it's not really difficult uh, technically not a lot of barring in the song if any barring uh, maybe there's no barring at all I will have to go back and, and and see what exactly what I'm doing but uh in any case please please subscribe if you like the video and we'll see you on the next video don't forget to be give back and be blessed uh, to improve your community bye